What's up guys, Cameron, Tech Support Supervisor from Fuel Tech USA, and today we're gonna be talking about our new product, the Peak and Hold Pro. Before we get to it, let me get this box out of the way and we'll jump right in. All right guys, so this is the new Peak and Hold Pro. It's going to basically replace our current Peak and Holds, which we have several varieties of. We have a four amp, a two amp, and an eight amp Peak and Hold currently. And each one of those is for a different type of fuel injector with a different impedance. So for example, a Siemens DECA 225 would use our four amp injector box or driver box. A fuel tech injector will use our eight amp box. This one is programmable. So you can actually tell it what type of peak and hold you need for whatever type of injector you have. Uh, you no longer need to search on our website and figure out which peak and hold box you particularly need or anything like that. Also, it's eight channel. So even for you guys with 16 injectors, you only need two of these now instead of four, uh, which is really cool. And it comes with a, a bunch of new features that we've found to be very helpful in your racing program or basically any type of engine that uses, you know, a standard uh, port injection type fuel injector. So it can do diagnostics on the minimum open time of your injector to detect if like something is unplugged. So for example, when you turn your ignition switch on, it can do a quick pulse of all of your fuel injectors and make sure that something is not disconnected and it will give you a warning on the screen or it will even communicate with a secondary peak and hold if you have two of these and shut both of your injector uh, driver boxes off, that kind of thing. So for example, let's say you're making a run and one of your injector clips comes loose. It has a wire that connects between both of your peak and holds. And normally when, a, when you have two injectors per cylinder, what would happen is the one injector would fail, the other one would keep spraying fuel, and you'd end up with some melted parts. In this case, it's going to allow you to program a safety that says, if this injector fails, shut all of my injectors off, save my engine, don't melt my parts. So that's a huge thing that we think is gonna be very, very helpful. Um, this communicates on CAN bus, so all of that information will show up in your data log. If you have more than one of these, it will have like an A box and a B box. You can program them differently. One of them could be four amps, for example. One of them could be eight amps, depending on the type of injector combination that you have. This is a very, very useful tool for diagnosing problems with, uh, with your fuel injectors. If you, if you have a connection problem, like I had mentioned before, and it's definitely gonna save you guys a lot of headaches from chasing that mystery cylinder that keeps getting hurt or something like that if you have a, an injector clip that has a problem or, or even wiring or something like that where you have an improper crimp or something like that. So there you guys have it, Peak and Hold Pro. Really, really cool stuff. It does some awesome things. These are also easier to pin and depin. You can basically do it without tools where the other ones you needed some special tools to work with. And that's definitely just gonna make your racing program that much better and this thing much easier to work on. Also is gonna help you diagnose problems, much like our FT Spark can help you diagnose ignition problems if you have connection issues between your ignition coil, the ignition box, and so on. So also this comes with a new style connector, the same one that we use on our Alcohol O2. You can see that here, it's a much nicer connector. It's sealed. Um, this is actually an adapter harness that we can use to adapt you from your older style harness, which has the microfit style connector. Um, these are a little bit more difficult to work with, especially when you're depinning things. But um, if you have one of our older harnesses and you want to adapt to this, uh, we do have an adapter harness that will allow you to do that. Also, depending on uh, when you're looking at this video, our newer harnesses will have this style connector on them already. Or if you're making a harness from scratch, uh, you can buy a blank harness with this end on it, so that way you can then plumb this into the rest of the wiring in your car. Makes things really easy, and hopefully that makes install a lot easier for you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.